my friend Frenzy and her whole family here. So Frenzy's right here. She's playing with her dad, Deuce, who's upside down. And we have her mama, Chase, and her older sister, Hazy. So this is our, this is Frenzy's family. We have a lot of fun together. They play a lot. And Frenzy wanted to introduce you to everyone after she shared a little bit about herself last week. She wanted to share with you about her family and who she lives with. So her mama, Chase, is four and a half years old. And her sister, Hazy, who she loves to play with all day long, Hazy is 10 months old, her bigger sister. Frenzy's only three months old. And Deuce is two and a half years old. Deuce is from Denmark, the country of Denmark. He's not from the United States of America. And Chase was bred here. She, was, she lived, has lived here her whole life as of Hazy and Frenzy. So that's our family. They play a lot together and eat together. They go, we go on walks with only two at a time. I can't handle four dogs at a time, but we have a good time playing with each other. Um, so we talked a little bit last week about how Frenzy, what Frenzy likes to do. And you're going to see some video of her playing with or chewing on a bone. She loves to chew on bones. She also likes to help me out in the backyard doing yard work. You'll see some video of her doing that. And she loves to play. Now Hazy wants to play. This is what they do all the time. And they play, play, play. And they get goofy with each other. Uh, and it's pretty fun to watch them play, as you'll get to see here. They're very, very playful and they like to just enjoy playing. So, I'm going to answer your questions while they're playing so you guys can watch them play and I'll answer your questions from last week. So, somebody asked, how big is Frenzy going to get? Well, she's going to get probably as big as Hazy right here. So she's going to get pretty big. She weighs about, what do we say, 34 pounds this week. She's going to weigh probably 90 pounds when, was, when she's all said and done when she's a big girl. Um, Deuce here weighs 115 pounds. So he's going to be a little bit bigger because he's a boy. Hi, easy. Sit. You sit. No. Good girl. Give me five. All right. So Hazy likes her tricks and she likes to do things. Frenzy is going to learn how to do that too. She's in training. The other question you guys had is who's older? I think I already covered that Hazy's older than Frenzy. You can see how much bigger she is. So she's a lot older. The other question you guys have was does Frenzy get crazy? And the answer is yes. Yes, she gets crazy. She gets to be very goofy and she runs around the yard and she plays hard with her sister. Okay, do all right, we had to get rid of everyone else because they were getting too crazy. As somebody just asked, do they get crazy? They like to play a lot, and they're four very big dogs, although Frenzy is just a little squirt. That's my nickname for her, is I call her a little squirt. So the I was going to share a little bit about how to stop puppies from chewing things they're not supposed to chew. Somebody asked that question, how do you get them to stop chewing toys? Well, you notice I'm letting her chew on my fingers. And that's because she's being nice about it. If she chomps down hard, I'll screech like a dog would, like Hazy does when she chews on her too much, and to let her know that she's hurt me. The other thing I do is to keep her from eating things that are mine, is I give her something that's hers. So I give her a toy that she can chew on that's her toy, and it substitutes it. So if they have something of yours that you don't want them eating on, like your fingers or a toy, just give them something they can chew on that that's theirs. And so she can work on that and play with that new toy. So that's how I stop her from chewing on my toys. The other big thing I'll tell you to get them to stop chewing on your toys is to make sure they're put away. I put my, my, my stuff gets put away. I don't have anything laying on the floor that I don't want Frenzy chewing on because Frenzy will chew on them. As you can see, she's trying to chew on me. So put things away, and if you can't put them away, have something else you can give them instead so they can chew on those things. So that's what I would do. Uh, we were talking about tricks. So last week we showed a spin. Come here, friends. I got a little piece of food here. Show a spin. Yay, good spin. So we've been working on give five. No, sit. She's still learning. Come here. 
You sit. Go ahead. Wait. Give me five. Yeah, good five. Give me five. Yeah, she's gotten good at that. The new trick that we're learning for, for it, it'll take her a little while to learn this one, like roll over, that's a tough trick. So we're learning it. She knows how to down. And I'm gonna, I'm using food to get her on her back. Yeah, good girl, good bang. I put the word bang to it, but she doesn't know it yet. So I just give her treats and I get her into that position. Yay! Good bang! Good bang! And we'll, we'll get that into a rollover, but we have to learn it step by step. We don't learn things 100% the first time. We have to build them up into little small pieces, and then we put it all together and she'll get it. So that's where we're at with bang. It was just getting her into a lay down position and over on her back, and then eventually we'll get it into a either rollover or play dead, one of the two. But that's how we learn, is we learn in little little short segments to put it all together to be one big thing. Right, Frenzy? Come here. Okay. She did learn how to get on the couch, which I'm okay with. Come on, up, up. Come on. She learned how to do that this week, didn't you? You're pretty good at that. All right. I'll take any other questions for Frenzy, and she'll answer them next week. And we'll also show some other fun things that she does as a puppy on a daily basis. Lay down. Good girl. You wait. So wave goodbye to Frenzy. <laughs>